Hey Scorpio, wherever Scorpio is in your chart, which includes but is not limited to Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus here. We're getting into who's thinking of yes. How they see you, how they feel, what they want, a challenge as well as an outcome here. Who's thinking of Scorpio? Thank you so much, Scorpio and Scorpio Cross Watchers for all the love and support. I am just giving back what I'm receiving here, okay? So let's see. Tell us who's thinking of Scorpio, please. Keep in mind someone else's perspective, someone else's point of view, which may be different from our own at times. So King of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. Someone coming in with that wheel of fortune. Well, somebody's acting chipper here. Okay, specifically acting very chipper. How they see you, look at that. <laughs> the other version of the wheel of fortune. We are going to get to this. I will tell you first and foremost, is someone who's not agreeing with you based on the way that you see the situation because they're seeing it completely different. Wow, there's a feather here. What in the world? Okay, so make a wish, Scorpio. I think I said something about feathers in the last Scorpio reading. Interesting, okay. How they feel is lovers. You also had this card in a recent reading. Um, it was very integrated into the energy too. Okay, so. What this person wants is hangman. Um, all right. Someone here is in their feelings big time, okay? Over the situation with you, there is a different way of looking at things here, you and this person. So I am seeing that because this person is actually taking the more optimistic route about your situation and their thoughts, okay? It's like they think that you guys have more of an opportunity to get the ball rolling or whatever this is with one another than you do, okay? So it's almost like they're looking to, we're gonna get to this of course, but they are looking to see if you guys can come to terms with things and be on the same page or not. And I do feel this is someone who's tired of I'm hearing on sidelines. Okay, interesting, but tired of waiting. So let me see. A challenge here is the lovers. See what I'm saying? Your, your reading's already repeating. You do have Gemini Sagittarius energy here. That would indicate seventh house. Okay. Someone's trying to be in a relationship with you. <laughs> Hello. Okay, this person's next moves is Page of Wands, the outcome. Okay, we're gonna get to that. Let me see what's underneath here just quickly. So Queen of Wands, okay. Okay, so you're tending to your garden here, Scorpio. I feel this is like a metaphor. However, you could also be tending to your actual physical garden okay and I also feel like that relates to your hair but I'm getting something a little bit um rated r or x okay rated x there for real Tending to your own garden here. All right, so um, Scorpio, let's see what this person's talking about. All right, let me see this wheel, please. Who is this? Who is this? I'm hearing stinky. Stinky? Okay. Higher font. Lots of Taurus energy here. Yeah, you could be dealing with an earth sign or a Sagittarius or someone has these placements. 
Um, yeah. Okay. First and foremost, this person is definitely thinking about your relationship with them. And it's almost like they're looking for something to do about it. But again, not having like proper guidance in doing so, like it feels as though this is somebody who doesn't know how to approach you or what to do next. And it's kind of like they feel they're in the dark about things because what they're wanting is, well, a relationship, possibly a decision about one here. Okay, yeah, see that? They want to cut out the, uh, I'm hearing the middleman. So somebody feels like you guys have someone in between or around. It does look as though here that there's like a lot of like competition this person feels related to you. But this is them saying, okay, I'm going to keep trying. I'm coming back again. I'm coming at it again. I'm going to manage this. I'm going to win. They're definitely thinking more positively. Okay. Okay. Trying to figure out, okay, what can I do? What am I doing next? I'm in the dark, but let me see if this works. So this is an exhaustible list, an inexhaustible list. So they're gonna try everything is what it is. So let's see, why is Scorpio the broken wheel according to this person? Yeah, they, they think that they've lost an opportunity with you or something's just not moving, okay? So you probably put the brakes on things according to them. So they're like, all right, I'm going to figure something out, okay? Even though I don't know what's going on, I'm going to figure it out. And I'm going to win, okay? They're determined. There's a determination here. And you, some, you're not, yeah, it's just, you know, maybe not feeling it. You don't think the same according to this person, the way that you're seeing it, okay, or how they're seeing you. So the Queen of Pentacles, interesting. Devil. The what? Okay. Fool <laughs> and the Five of Cups. Okay. <laughs> oh man. Um, okay, I'm seeing two things here. First of all, they're saying that you are more interested in looking at things from a negative point of light or point of view, like the light that you're looking at it in is like an, a darker, dimmer, like less positive way, okay? For sure. And they, they feel like there's something that you just can't break free from when looking at this situation. So it's like you see a problem and it's like, okay, there's a problem here, but instead of like working on it or trying to sort something out, you're more like hands, hands off. You're like, okay, I'm going to let this person deal with whatever that is. It's not, it's not my circus. It's kind of how this person is seeing you that you've detached here. Now there's also something going on about forgiveness. Like perhaps you're holding on to some I'm hearing dead weight, sure, but there's some energy here that you have not moved past, which is stalling your situation with them. And I will tell you this as well, okay? Because this can either be that, you know, you have bad blood with this person and you can't move past that, sure. Or you have bad blood, just period, about the situation or in general in your life, there's something you're sorting out here. Or this is about finances, okay? Because it's like, What is this here? Yeah, there's something here that's like, I would incur lots of burdens or losses, or because this is the pentacle energy. And in order to protect myself from that, I'm just gonna let go. That's how they're seeing you. It's like, not my problem, figure it out, you know? It's something like this. Which, no wonder someone's trying to work something out then, which would make sense, right? This is you saying, I'm not going to put myself on the line. I'm not, you know, some sort of pawn. I'm not some sort of, like, fix-it person for you. It's something like this. So instead you do tower. 
He's like, no, 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 I'm good. You know, hands off. Okay, so this is what's going on. There's definitely something that you're seeing that's out of whack with the situation. Maybe you've said that to them because that's how they're seeing you as like they're aware of this. So let me see what, one more on this, please. The lovers. Yeah, see the pen. Do you see this 10 of pentacles? It's, it's attached to your love situation. So... That's, that's what's holding this situation back right now, which we already said. But it's like you're kind of seeing it like long term, which is making you feel you shouldn't deal with it short term. You see what I'm saying? It's like in the future, where would this be kind of energy? Which is why I have to be smart. Yeah. Let's see lovers. Your lovers keeps popping up here. How this person feels with lovers in love, first of all, what else? I'm hearing you're teasing me. So someone feels like you've teased them? Interesting, so the page of wands, yeah. This is someone who feels like you're kind of like teasing them with a relationship. Okay, so I'm not saying you are, all right? Oh, wow. You've made things absolutely clear here according to this communication that I'm seeing about where you stand or where this person stands in your life right now. And especially about a union, like specifically a union with them. It's like there's more I need or to be desired here. This is somebody who feels like You've kind of asserted yourself or you've definitely told them some truths that bite, okay? This is like some of those ugly truths that people don't want to hear about themselves or about the situation that they find themselves in. It's like, ooh, ouch, like, but it's truthful, so how are you going to be mad kind of thing, okay? So they feel like you have some bite here and you, you made it clear about, I don't know, what you need, like something about your needs, what you expect, your standards, your something is missing here vibe. Let me get one more on this really quick. Oh, actually, let's look at this. Yeah, see this? Uh, big imbalance of energy in the success arena. So I see all pentacles here. Let me see one more right here. It's like this needs to be tackled kind of energy. The Knight of Wands, yeah, it's a desire. It has to be more than just like I'm hearing Flava Flav, what is going on? It has to be more than just like, didn't he have a dating show a long time ago? Maybe that's how this feels, like someone feels like they're a contestant. Okay, because this could be contested territory. We did see the five of wands there, that's interesting. Anyway, um, something is contested and it's like a vetting process basically is what this feels. But this is somebody who, how they feel that like you've kind of laid down the law basically in the way of saying, this is what I want. This is my, this is my desire. This is what I need. If it's some sort of, you know, union, like if it's supposed to be some sort of union, then, then this is what it looks like to me. You know what I'm saying? Now, some of you guys, you may have said like, I'm going to need you to have a home or something like that, or I'm going to need you to get your family in order, your household in order, something about someone's home. Yeah, this is someone who feels like you have options here, which in turn assists you in having your freedom here. I don't know. Don't ask me. Okay, let me see the hangman. <laughs> I'm kidding. Let me see the hangman. Okay, Majish is coming out. What is this? We're... Um, this person? Yeah. What's this about? Uh, 
Um, yeah, the chariot. That's what I'm seeing, and here it is. So we saw this about the demands. I'm hearing a demand letter. Okay, maybe somebody's getting some sort of demand letter in the mail. Interesting, side note, side note. Um, yeah, so we saw this here about what you need or what you want or something like that. And they feel that this is something that has to change in order to have desire for the situation in the first place. Eight of Cups. Mm. All right. Someone here feels like they're running out of time or like either the distance or the desire fizzling out here is going to make things come to a close. Okay. And they're kind of trying to figure out what to do about this, if they should keep waiting, but it's almost like into the indefinite future. So someone feels like this would take forever or it has been. And it's almost like, I, I need to know if I'm still need to stay here and work something out. And if it's going to get me anywhere or if I'm just going to exit stage left or whatever, you know, ABC my way out of here. It's kind of like that. Yeah, because see, they're deciding if they should still hold on because it's like, is it worth it? Is it gonna work out? They're weighing this up right here with this nine of wands. This is telling me we have wounded warrior energy. Like they've been trying and something is not working. And it's like, all right, how many more approaches do I have to try? One more. Yeah, it's your commitment here. Their patience is wearing thin, okay? Because I feel like by the time that anything would even happen, it would not even matter by then. This is someone who's putting like the goal stick like way out into the future somehow. So they feel like you've, you've asked for something or you need something that kind of puts them in a position to have to take like, I don't know, maybe years to, to solve. Okay, it feels this way. Of course, it can be just the way it's coming off, but it's like, man, that's a lot, you know? Someone feels like it's a lot and it's making the situation have like a huge damper. Now, I also feel like this is somebody who could feel like you just don't have interest or like you've you've lost interest here, okay? Um, let's see this lovers, the challenge. And that's the challenge is the lovers, see? Let me see this. And this is a coming together here. I'm hearing Chad, okay. Um, the Knight of Swords, what else? Yeah, okay. See this challenge? It is disgustingly sweet here. It is like sickly sweet vibes, okay? Because the challenge here is all about feelings <laughs> and a relationship that, that grows out of it. So they feel like your relationship and the feelings, like either being in love, being connected, telling you they love you or you telling them you love them and wanting to be committed, wanting to make it official, you know, making the appropriate changes here. Like, they feel like that aspect is missing. So it's challenging to get your feelings involved, Scorpio. Um. This is talking about like love, okay? Now I also see some of you guys, it's the distance, of course, but you can be emotionally distant too. So it's something about the distance as well. So the feelings are lacking here. No wonder they're saying somebody's desire is cooling off. Let me see. Now some of you guys, Something is um, challenging about, yeah, well, it's the attraction of the situation here. Yeah, whether or not you're attracted enough. Like maybe, you, maybe you're not, or they're feeling this way, Scorpio. Um, or if you're ever going to be. But I also feel like this can indicate like a choice. So it's like, you won't choose me because you're not 
attracted, something like this. Let me see this page of wands in the near future this person's next moves. Well, look at that. They're over here thinking, how can I become this king? And they come in with that page. All right, that's fine, whatever. This is indicating something that has not changed or does not change. And this is someone who's trying to work on it, which we kind of already touched on. Let me see this page of wands. That's why you're like, nope, that could take forever or that's how they're saying it too. So the seven of pentacles, all right. Okay, five of pentacles here. Emperor. The six of pentacles. All right, so here's what's up. For some reason, this is someone who feels like they need to approach like carefully or gently when they do. It's almost like you could on and off be talking to this person, Scorpio, okay? This fire sign or this earth sign, whoever this is. Um, wow. Okay, yeah, it's like you guys are on and off speaking here in the next moves. I do feel like this person will be kind of like contacting you, messaging you here and there, just giving you like a little bit of attention here and there, a little bit of um, time and energy or whatever they're trying to give you, like little, hey, what's up kind of vibe. But it's like they're trying to restrict themselves because it's almost like they feel that they're at a loss here. Okay. I also feel like this is someone who's trying to like mature or grow up in some way. And some sort of deficit in that arena is very much highlighted for them in the near future. And, they, and, and they've been thinking about this, but I see here more so that it's almost like, all right, how am I supposed to spend, you know, time and energy to become this emperor or to sustain an emperor vibe or something like this. Tell me one more. What's this? All popping out. And, th and this is because I just saw this and now it's popping out here too. Yeah. I feel like this is someone who kind of doesn't want to disappear completely, but it's like they're giving you some sort of space and it seems like they're trying to do something in their life. I don't know. But it's like they're giving you some sort of space and hoping that's gonna spark like some type of desire again. And they're watching you for sure. They've, or they've been watching you. For some, and this is not everybody, this is someone who feels like you don't like them at all. Right here. Okay, like at all, like it's more like you have a bad taste in your mouth instead, which would indicate again, why you haven't gotten over something or forgiven somebody here or let go of some bad blood or some spilled milk. See what I'm saying? All right. So advice, guidance for this person from the reading world, <laughs> um, this Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, or this Aries, Leo Sagittarius person, whoever this is, they probably have prominent placements like that in those vibes, you know. Advice guidance for this person. What is this person thinking of Scorpio? Need to know. So the King of Swords is popping out. So High Priestess. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks like, ugh, man. Something here may not make sense, okay, during this time period or over the next couple weeks, maybe you're aware of that. I also feel like Scorpio here, maybe a little bit guarded, and by a little bit, I mean a lot of it, all right? Maybe some silence here and there. 
I feel like it's important for you to figure out what your home is supposed to look like, what your family goals are, or your something about happiness in general. There's something about you figuring that out here and devoting yourself to, I'm hearing accommodating that. That's a very interesting way to say that, but devoting yourself to basically make that a reality. Okay, that idea of the 10 of cups a reality in your life because it looks like you're, you're seeking like the whole shebang is what it looks, all right? But because we have the seven of cups here, it's like, yeah. Ooh, you have nine of wands. It's very important that you go after what your idea of happiness looks like during this time, okay? Because I feel like that's the key for everything to fall into place. And I feel like this is more of like you devoting yourself to this idea, regardless of what's going on around you, like creating your dream your dream life, something like this. Because the Nine of Wands is someone who persists. Okay. You could be needing to like muster up some type of plan about this. Muster up the bravery, the inspiration, even the passion. Okay. So that you can get that. You have to fight for it, is what it looks. Like you have to fight for your ideas, and what you want. Advice, guidance for Scorpio regarding this or otherwise. Please. The Eight of Pentacles, well it says shields, but Nine of Swords, what happened? Uh-oh, Scorp. So, who is that? You're worried that someone is like going to set you up for a good idea here or it's like they come off trying to be this emperor energy or something very substantial and you're afraid that this idea is failing or that maybe you're failing at something here. There's a concern of failure, Scorpio. Huh. This eight, let me see what this is. So that moon is here again. Look at that. I just realized, so we have the eight of pentacles and moon and here it is, it was on the bottom. Maybe you feel like you're not sure what this person's trying to do. There's a lot of uncertainty that could be worrisome, bothersome, okay? You could also feel bad that you're trying to end something or having difficulty in doing so. What else? The fool. There's some type of skill set here and like somewhat of a learning process going on, okay? It's like you're concerned about someone else's well-being regarding that, regarding that, that's interesting. You're worried that someone's not gonna do what they're supposed to and it's like you're gonna be left hanging or something like, like you feel like you're on the line or something, okay? High Priestess. Oh, okay. Okay. 
Okay. The Knight of Wands. I feel like you're invested in like other people's well-being right now. There's something about you needing to balance this energy out here, okay? Because I don't know. You can lead a horse to water. You know what I mean? Doesn't mean he's going to drink. That's just kind of how this is coming off. Okay? I see what's important to you is your skill set and keep practicing what it is you're practicing here. I feel like you're getting some intuitive clarity coming in very soon about this entire thing, okay? So listen to that. Listen to your intuition. Be open to it. Not saying you aren't. You probably already are. But you're going to get that clarity that you're seeking or you're needing here. And there's going to be a mutual understanding between you and this situation, this person, what have you. Tell me one more here, please. You could also not trust somebody, Scorpio. Like it's... I mean, that kind of plays into this too. It's like, I don't think you can do the right thing. It's kind of like that. I feel like somebody is trying to apologize about... It is. Okay, Scorpio. If someone is apologizing to you here, make sure you're also um, keeping a lookout for your well-being. Just because I feel like you may have an energy of someone approaching you during this time that like you are uneasy with this person's energy. Could be because of a past situation regarding them, okay? Um, in this case, maybe it's somebody who likes to be too much and I would say like in a in an aggressive way okay there's something about their presence that could be bothering you just make sure that you're you're minding your energy during this here okay yeah look at that the eight of cups your feelings are going to make more sense here coming up with your situation like you're suddenly going to leave something alone Cause you're gonna get like an inspiration to do so you're gonna get like a sudden like jolt it's like okay i know what i need to do this is what's coming in here scorpio this is very temporary this um this bothered energy or this embarrassed or worried energy here love you so very much scorpio feel free to check previous future reads for more or different information friends family members neighbors co-workers peep and tom peep and tanya down the street check their placements too so we know what they're up to kisses love you bye